Hey, welcome everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are in the Palo Alto studio um, for a CUBE conversation. We have a, a special friend. He comes by all the time to give us updates and, uh, and we've got a special update today, some new announcements. So first off, welcome Noam Shendar, the CEO of Cesar. Great to see you. You too, thank you. And you brought along uh, Bill Lezinski, the VP SSD Planning and Marketing for Intel. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, good morning. So big news, uh, let's just jump right into it. No, tell us the big news. Sure, we're super excited that we've uh, formed a strategic relationship with Intel, which puts together our innovative market-leading software-defined storage for enterprise storage as a service, wrapped around a number of building blocks from Intel. In fact, putting all of the hardware building blocks that we use into a single integrated package from Intel, including the SSDs for non-volatile memory, including the servers themselves, including networking components, and of course, uh, the Intel processors. All right, so let's back up a couple steps. So you guys have been at this a while. You've been doing software to find storage on other people's hardware for a while. Correct. What's different now? Why, why now, uh, and why change your strategy, and then more specifically, why Intel? It's a it's a process of evolution. So we are growing very rapidly. Uh, our, the quarter that just ended, Q3 2016, has been another record quarter for us. And as we scale, we need to get more efficient and we need to rely on hardware providers who have bigger scale, bigger reach, and more functional components. So our, our evolution, our growth has forced us to go look for really credible partners and Intel's at the top of that heap. And as you said, Intel known obviously for microprocessors, Bill, yeah. but you guys do a lot more than microprocessors um, for people that know a little bit more about the company. So it sounds like this this uh, partner is a partnership. The right word? You know, yeah. Partnership's always a tricky one with the lawyers, <laughs> right? Yeah, at least they're not here. The yeah. agreement, right? They're not here, and it's live, so you can't do anything about it. Um, the uh, you guys really have kind of the whole the whole slew from the microprocessor all the way through to complete systems. Yeah, I think what's changed a little bit. Obviously, we're known for our CPUs and data center and in client and and embedded stuff. Um, but in this case, we've been able to work with Zadar and actually provide them like a complete solution, right? So not just the CPU, not just the networking card, not just the SSD, but also the motherboard solution that all the components come together in and really uh, and allow them to go focus on what they're great at and we can focus on providing them great hardware. And then in the nature of the of the agreement, is it is is kind of an OEM relationship where this is kind of packaged up within the, the the Zadara service, but it just happens to be running on a bunch of uh, Intel hardware? Exactly, so we, we've always provided a complete solution to our customers, that's, okay. that's the convenience is a, is a key advantage that we have, and so in this case, yes, we're taking the Intel components and we're wrapping them together into the complete offering, which is the, the service and the appliance right. coming together. Intel is doing a lot of the integration behind the scenes, which is an advantage for us. We, our, our logistics are complex, so the more that we can simplify, the better for us and the faster we can serve our customers. Right, and, and just to recap, you have both an on-prem solution uh, as well as cloud solution, correct? So your, your customers can choose to deploy to Zara kind of wherever it makes the most sense for them. Exactly. In fact, we're unique in the, in the literal meaning of that word. No one else is providing exactly the same storage, both on premises and in public clouds. Most companies focus on one or the other, and even those that straddle the gap between cloud and on premise, they offer different solutions. They develop one for here and one for there. Right. We offer exactly the same thing with the same Intel hardware, with the same software defined storage that we've developed, the same service, the same price, and the same service level agreement. All right. So, Bill, from your perspective, why, why are you excited about this? What is this kind of new and different from yeah, the Intel scene? I think there's a couple of things. One, uh, working with Zidar, we're hoping to really allow them to scale their business because it is very innovative from a software-defined storage standpoint where if it's on-prem or in the cloud, the customer can make that decision actually on the fly, right? They can move things back and forth and figure out what works best for them. And we think that's really going to help enterprises move to these new usage models and these new capabilities. Uh, in a very flexible way, and so we're excited about that, right? Upgrading the infrastructure from enterprise to cloud. The other piece, from my own perspective, being in the SSD part of the business is, part of their new services were moving from traditional hard drives to SSD-based services for the same level of pricing. So they're giving customers a lot more benefit and value for essentially the same price. So we think that's exciting as well, and that will help kind of showcase the value of moving to solid-state storage and the benefit in the data center. Right, so, you, so you're involved with SSD all the time. Yeah. Um, and and we've, we've really been watching the adoption of SSD grow, right? And, and where before it was predominantly really high value applications, really low latency applications, 
what people continue to discover is there's all kind of second second order impacts when yeah. you put in these faster um, SSDs and replace the spinning drives. I wonder if you could share some stories of, of just some general use cases of how much impact going from spinning disk to SSD can have on specific applications, business cases, et cetera. Yeah, sure. I'd say that it's kind of in a few areas, right? One is density, right? You can just get more storage in equivalent areas, so that helps maybe at the high level to think about how it really reduces OPEX in the data center, right? You get uh, higher density, you get better reliability, you get lower power, uh, and a huge increase in performance. So all that allows you to lower your OPEX bill, uh, making it just more efficient. And that's why you're seeing a huge adoption um, starting kind of in the cloud and then moving into the traditional enterprise. It's just a, a huge value for them. And, and, and I can jump in with a, a real world example. It's from a pre previous life. Uh, a, a company I used to work for served uh, Walmart. And Walmart, with the help of my former company, switched from a hard drive-based solution for their analytics to SSDs. And what that did is it allowed them to finish the task of figuring out which trucks go where sooner. So rather than, let's say, finishing at 5 in the morning, you finished at 3 in the morning. That meant fewer trucks because the trucks had more time to drive around, so they didn't need to dispatch as many in order to restock all the shelves. Right. That's, well, that's a great that's example. A practical <laughs> application. Really simple. That's the other one, Bill, which is you're not directly involved with, but but obviously is growing importance at Intel is the data center business, right? Sure, of course. Um, depending on if you ask Michael Dell or other people, you know, what's going on with PCs, you know, but it's certainly not the, the New York growth that it had for years and years and years. But the data center is growing, right, as more and more stuff moves to data center-based applications, whether that be in a cloud or a private data center. Um, so, again, the impact of this within that business at Intel. Yeah, a couple things. At the high level, we talk about kind of the virtuous cycle of growth that we think is really going to drive the industry for the next decade. And the idea is that as all of these devices get connected, be it a car, be it the PC that you have today or your phone, these things are generating more and more data. You know, jet engines, cars generate terabytes of data that get moved up into the cloud. That drives cloud growth. It allows you to get scale and efficiency, optimize algorithms, and then you know, improve the devices, which leads to more devices. So we think this is going to lead to, you know, kind of this, this cycle of growth through all these uh, connected platforms. And we see that absolutely happening in the data center, and that's just going to continue to drive us forward. And we think things like what Zadar is doing is going to help facilitate to more um, cloud-based, you know, storage as a service usage models, which will further help accelerate growth. Yeah, the, 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 the need for storage is not going down no, anytime soon. Definitely not. <laughs> and the other really key piece that this continues to support, which is obviously core to your mission, Noam, is software defined, right? The classic line, everybody uses it over and over from Andreessen Software's Eating the World. It's really software defined kind mm -hmm. of everything. Mm -hmm. And you guys continue to really leverage that paradigm to deliver really a flexible service to your customers. It, absolutely. The, um, the beauty of software defined for us is the ability to serve our customers and react to their needs. The, we like to, to contrast software defined with hardware bound. When you, have, <laughs> when you have hardware bound storage, it is what it is. If you want it to do something new, it may take two, three years until that functionality is there. We're able to deliver new functionality to our customers within weeks. And we accelerated that even more when we introduced our container services called ZCS. ZCS allows customers to run their own arbitrary code inside a Docker container inside the storage. So we have had customers using this for things like, like antivirus or file sync and share. We didn't provide the file sync and share functionality, but the customer was able to integrate that on their own in a matter of days. Right, right. And of course, the other thing with, with cloud specifically, I mean, there, there are clouds, there's public clouds, uh, but really cloud is just kind of an attitude and, and kind of a way to deliver services and a way to deliver functionality. It's really about speed. It's about flexibility, being able to flex up, flex down, add, take away, and really kind of remove this kind of buy a bunch and then build up to whatever your capacity percentage is that you start to get uncomfortable and then buy a bunch more. But really, it's that flexibility that gives people the power to do big things, little things, and move between the two. Absolutely. Cool. And, it, and it, it also makes our job of selling easier because the customer can decide based on what they know and they don't have to guess or predict or plan in advance. They buy or order what they need, and if their needs change, so be it. They can right. increase the usage, decrease the usage, and we talked about changing location. They can go from on-prem to the cloud or back with no penalty, with no difficulty. So we just tell them, go ahead, whatever, based on what you know, make your order, you can always undo. 
Because you, because that assumes they have a, a Zadar system in both locations, so they can just move that data back and forth depending on well, what so, the uh, yeah what, so what the requirement is. Yeah, well, let's they they don't need to have a Zadar system in the public cloud because we have our Zadar systems at Google, at Microsoft Azure, and at uh, Amazon Web Services. So if they have our on-prem system, they already have available to them our global network right. of locations. Right, because it's it's in there, not necessarily theirs has to be in there. Exactly. Got it, got it. All right, well, Bill, I want to, we're running low on time. I want to give you kind of the last word from the Intel perspective as you sit back and watch what's going on with SSDs, what's going on with data centers, what's going on with software defined. What gets you up in the morning? What are you excited about? I'd say, you know, opportunities like this of working with the Zadar is great because it the software defined everything, as you put it, is really changing data centers from the cloud side to the enterprise, and you know we like that, right? It it helps move the speed of business forward, and creates opportunities. And from an SSD perspective, particularly in the data center, it's about driving density uh, and efficiency there, and really kind of changing uh, the game in the data center. And you'll see a lot more solid state. So, great future, a lot, a lot to, a lot of fun stuff to work on. Great, and and knowing from your perspective, just in terms of the ongoing, you know, kind of growing up, if you will, or maturation of, of Zadar, you know, kind of put this in into context of what it means in, in this stage of your guys' lives as you continue to grow and deliver more to your customers. It's it's more of everything. So we're we're <laughs> seeing it's it's really as as chief operating officer, this this is what doesn't what get this isn't what gets me up in the morning. It's it's what keeps me up at night. It's the deals are getting more numerous, they're getting larger, the customers are getting more demanding because they expect more and more, and they're everywhere in the world, in every, every continent, uh, no, no exception. So we, are, we have requests from, from Africa as, as we speak. So, so where, where it's going is this is the way that IT is going to happen moving forward. The, the CapEx way of buying storage is it worked well for a couple of decades, but it's, it, the time has come to shift to an, a new system, and the world is switching to it because it's far more convenient and it's far more financially advantageous to do it that way. It just, and it just makes more sense, right? At the end of the day, it's mapping demands to supply within your own organization, which just makes more sense. All right, well, Bill Zinsky, thanks for stopping by. Noam, yeah. always good to see you. I'm sure you we'll too. see you in the not-too-distant future. Uh, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching the Cube. We're in the Palo Alto studio for Cube Conversation. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Oh